Greetings! Welcome and welcome back to my channel and my students from Lexi and I'm super excited to be back with another timeless book of card reading for you guys. For today I want to do what do you need to know. This reading has been coming up a lot in my personal readings and my live readings so I figured I'd do another book of card for what do you need to know okay so i have three fragrances you guys can choose from before i number them off i want to say thank you so much to those of you guys where you've been showing me love patience and support you mean the world to me and if you're new here hi hello welcome my name is lexi don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out my new readings okay all right so now that i got that out the way i'm gonna go ahead and number off the three fragrances and then we'll get into your reading so pile one is vanilla milk this is by Perry Ellis. No, no, <laughs> Alice Brooklyn. My apologies. Vanilla Milk. Pile 2 is Sexy Secret by Jean-Marc Paris. And Pile 3 is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy, okay? So, if you guys have already chosen your number, your fragrance, that's great. Timestamps are down below. If you need some more time, that's totally okay. You can go back, pause, meditate, do she need you to pick the proper button. <laughs> I'll also go ahead and jump into your readings. Greetings! Welcome pile one. Those of you guys who chose Vanilla Milk by Ellis Brooklyn. Yes, I always forget. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get the vibrate. And then we're gonna see what you guys need to know. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this ancestors and spirit. Guys, the high skin, my lovely souls who chose pile one. Talk to me, I talk back. Ancestors and spirit, guys, the high skin, my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous souls who chose pile one. Talk to me, I talk all the way back. <laughs> What does pile one? Ooh, cards are flipping, but they aren't coming out. What's going on? And then, boom. So we have gain, and then we have curse. Ooh, okay. So if you've been going through some money problems, evil eye, dark magic, people wishing bad on you, people saying negative things and speaking negative things over you, okay? Um, some of you guys, some people have literally sent magic your way, but for others of you, it's evil eye, etc. And these are placing blockages, placing losses in your path that don't need to be there. And if this hasn't happened yet, your ancestors want you to know this is happening. So you guys need to do some return to cinder, some banishing, some protection, some, 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 all of that before the blocks get here okay so for those of you guys we're already dealing with those issues this is the explanation you guys need to do some cleansing protection return of sin or whatever and for those of you guys where this hasn't happened yet you guys need to get up on that protection before this knocks on your front door before it shows up at your doorstep okay so we have a schedule Ooh, ancestors are saying you guys need to work on your procrastination you need to work on your time management there's a way in which you can be better managing yourself and your time and this is causing money losses as well Okay, the more productive you are, the more money you'll make. They're also saying work smarter, not harder. A lot of you guys are causing unnecessary work and stress for yourself because of procrastination. Also, I'm hearing late fees. If you guys have the money to pay for something, pay for it. Some of you guys will spend money on stuff that you don't need, but then there'll be like bills or tickets or I don't even know. Things accumulating, loans. And we're like, I'll deal with that later. But then you see some you want, you'll go get it. So your answers are saying, if you got the money, like, why are you causing yourself unnecessary fees? Okay. We have loneliness, stop, memory, friendship. A lot of you guys have been self-isolating, and this was necessary for a period of recovery. Now your answers are saying, it's time to get back out there. It's time back to get, it's time to get back out in the streets. Okay. <laughs> It's time to get back out in your friends group. Some of you guys don't have friends. It's time to go make friends. Sometimes isolation is necessary. They say they get it. But now your period of isolation is coming to a close. You need to get out the house or they're going to force you out. You can do it the easy way or you can do it the hard way. I'm seeing like literally force you out the house. Like, you know, a day where the power goes out, you got to go somewhere else. Um, you know, necessary maintenance from your landlords got to get out okay so either you do it on your own or they're gonna put some in your path to force you out the house <laughs> let's go we have overload yeah again we're smarter not harder a lot of you guys are causing yourself unnecessary work or issues for because of procrastination also be careful of making promises you can't keep be careful of saying yes to tasks that you know you won't be able to complete in time or Alternatively, if you know you're already overloaded, don't say yes to something and half-ass it and then leave a negative impression, okay? Got to be very careful because your reputation is on the line, especially if you've been doing this already. 
you're losing the trust of people. And if you're at risk of doing this, you need to mitigate it now before you lose the trust of people who you really want to have the trust of, whether it be at work or in your personal relationships. We have ideas, good ideas you have right down, even if you can't execute them now. We have indulgence. Be careful of overindulgence, overspending, overeating, overthinking, okay? Over, 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 overcompensating. I'm hearing over, 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 over. Also, they're saying be careful of the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, the living in the past, the constantly daydreaming, staying stuck in your head, because I mean, that's part of the reason why you guys procrastinate certain things. And your ancestors are saying, again, it's causing you unnecessary work issues, fees, problems. Get it together, okay? So we have accident. We have homeless. We have vow. Interesting. Okay, sweet dreams. So... If you are currently at risk of dealing with homelessness or dealing with homelessness, very few of you guys, so don't trip. If this doesn't apply to you, just let it fly. I'll get to your message in a minute. Your ancestors are saying that you need to spend less time, um, what's the word? Like daydreaming to escape your reality or sleeping to escape your reality because there's a resource or a friend that's willing to help you. But if you're focusing on escapism and not asking for help, you're not going to get that resource, okay? Now, for the rest of you, there's going to be some type of encounter with somebody who's dealing with housing issues, and you're meant to assist them in some way. Now, it's not extreme for all of you. For some of you, it's just like giving them a dollar or buying them a hot meal. But for others of you where you actually have resources, you'll be helping a person, this person um, to a greater extent. And if you fall through all these promises to this person, please don't. What was I just saying before? Please don't take on too much and then fall through. If you fall through with these promises, your ancestors are saying it's gonna be returned to you tenfold. This person has been placed on your path for a reason, so don't mess it up. We have compromise, relaxation. Ooh, we have sweetheart. So um, for those of you guys where you're coupled up or you have some type of situation with somebody and there's been some issues between you two, Instead of being stubborn or holding on to whatever has happened, try to compromise a little bit and spend some quality time with them, okay? That'll help with the issues. <clears throat> so, ancestors, what does pile one need to surrender to? Let's get into this. Ancestor, guys, let us get a pile one talk to me. I talk all the way back. We have surrender frustration. <laughs> What was I just saying? Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. So even for those of you guys where this isn't just someone you're coupled up with, just try to be more relaxed. Try not to hold on to grudges. Try not to hold on to frustration. Try not to be as rigid as normal, okay? We have frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or solving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and recoup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So I'm feeling drawn to this deck here. I gave it a little bit of a break, but I go through phases where, oh, and it fell. Oh my, it fell all the way under. I gotta get on my knees for y'all. Okay, dude. Okay, not only did it fall all the way under, but then it was propped up like this. Okay, we have grace for grand gesture. That's 15, so. If you have been seeing 444, 44, or you have Life Path 4, this is a confirmation that this message is for you. If you've sent out a prayer to Archangel Raphael, or if you've done some type of working with Archangel Raphael, this is your confirmation that he heard your prayers and he's working on it. If you felt drawn to work with him, this is your confirmation that you should. Those of you guys working with the stone Malachite, this is a confirmation that you should be working with that stone. Um, if you've been looking for stones to bring you good luck, Malachite will help you. All right, so we bring you the gift of grace for a grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith. 
the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it is time for a life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience. And I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace to express itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Beautiful. So... Oops, sorry, puppy. <laughs> My dog is right here. <laughs> so that's what I have you guys pile one. A beautiful reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below if you like to book readings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I'm sending you so much love. And I hope you have a fun the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome, pile two. Those of you guys who chose a sexy secret. I'm going to go ahead and get the vibe right so we can see what do you need to know. Okay. So, what deck do I want to use for you guys? I think I'm going to go with this one here. Ancestors, talk to me. I talk back. Ancestors, spirit guides, the highest good of pile two. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. 11 11. Hello. Interesting. Okay. Ancestors Spirit Guide has been a pile too. Talk to me, I talk back. I was like, I almost called you guys pile one. I may have accidentally called you guys pile one. I don't remember. I don't know. But I was like, maybe they were drawn to pile one, but ancestors were like, no. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Look down, 1111. So if you've been seeing a lot of ones, elevens, your life path has something to do with one, or is there a life path eleven? I don't know. I'm not into numerology like that, but I'm being told to say that, okay? Um, if there's something about 11 that's important to you, this is a confirmation spouse for you. If not, no worries. You guys will know if it resonates for you shortly. So, Ancestor Spirit Guides, high get a pile too, my beautiful. Oh, jeez. They said they're all the way ready. Hurry up, chop, chop. So we have marionette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Hmm. We have alliance. Okay, right off the bat, be careful of people trying to use your kindness against you. Okay, there's someone around you who wants to use your kindness or your empathetic nature or heart to control you, to manipulate you, to dominate you, to get you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise want to do. So you got to be mindful of that. Don't allow people to take advantage of your kindness. Because you're going to end up feeling used. You're going to end up feeling worthless. It's going to have a negative impact on your self-worth. And for some of you guys, it's going to put you in situations that you really don't need to be in at this moment in time. So be very mindful of who you're being kind to. It's wonderful that you have a kind heart. But don't be kind or empathetic to the point where people are able to manipulate you into doing things that you don't want to do or shouldn't do. Okay? We have gift. So yeah, a lot of you guys have been struggling with issues in regards to your self-esteem or your self-worth. And your ancestors are saying like, you are God's gift. I'm hearing that you are God's gift to the world. Whatever you call God, you know, whether you call him Allah Dumer, whether you call him Allah, whether you call him God, whether you call it universe, you know, Mother Earth, whatever you refer to, you are a gift from your creator. And... A lot of you guys have not been seeing that within yourself. We have mask. You've been placing other people's projections onto yourself and it's been giving you thoughts and feelings about yourself that you shouldn't have. For example, someone could have called you ugly and you're like, dang, I'm ugly. But what if that person called you ugly because they were jealous? <laughs> the way my dog is snoring, y'all, I'm sorry. But anyways... You know, someone could have called you this or that, but they could have been projecting or they could have been intentionally trying to take you away from the light within yourself, okay? 
So, your ancestors are saying that you are a gift from the creator and do not allow anyone to place any other thought in your mind that takes you away from that. It doesn't matter who they are, what they do, what they look like, what they have, what their connection to you is, okay? Do not allow anyone to convince you that you're anything other than a gift from the creator. That doesn't mean you're perfect. But what it does mean is that you're someone who's valuable and you're someone who's worthy and you have a very specific destiny or you have a very specific purpose. You have a very specific mission. You are not placed here by mistake. There, a lot of you guys are feeling, I'm hearing like lost or jaded. Puppy, I love you. And maybe you guys need to hear that. You are loved. Maybe you don't hear that enough. You are loved and you are important. And yes, everyone goes through ups and downs, but don't ever go through life feeling like you are not here with purpose and you are not loved and that you are not divinely placed here at a certain time, at a certain place for a certain purpose. You guys may not have a full understanding of what that mission is yet, but just understand that you do have one and that it'll come to you at the right time. We have luck. So I'm hearing your luck is shifting. You have good luck coming towards you at this moment in time, okay? Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. I took my doggy on a very long walk. So he's snoring. <laughs> All right, so ancestors, talk to me. I talk back. What does child two need to know? I feel like my earphone's about to fall out. Ancestors, spirit guides, the highest good, my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous souls who chose pile two. Ancestors, spirit guides, the highest good, and my lovely souls who. Oop. Sheesh. Okay. Nothing. All right. Let's get into this. So we have the universe here. We have luxury. We have Queen of Wands. You deserve the world. Six of Cups. Someone wants to give you the world. Yeah. Okay. So, someone wants to give you the world. Um, I'm getting like a split. For some of you guys, you're self-sabotaging with someone who wants to give you the world because of things that have happened in the past. Or again, because you've let someone convince you that you don't deserve it. Okay? So... Your ancestors are saying that you do deserve the world, and the reason why that you're placed on this person's path is because they can give you that. But a lot of you guys have been self-sabotaging and blocking this person out, so try and open yourself up and allow them to prove themselves. Now, for those of you guys where this hasn't happened, this is going to be happening in your very near future, three months or less, and the same message applies, okay? It's just that instead of it being a now message, it's a near future message. So let's see what you guys need to surrender, okay? Ancestors and spirit guides of the highest good of pile two. Ancestors and spirit guides of the highest good of pile two. Talk to me. I talk back. What does pile two need to know? Pile two needs to hear. Ooh. Ooh. Jeesh. We have two. So we have surrender to prayer. No, three. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. And answers and support will arrive. Pretty self-explanatory, okay? So we also have, oh, surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. And final message is surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting, quote-unquote, fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So I got a crystal mandala oracle for pile one, so I'm going to go ahead and grab one for you too, also pile two. Wow, like the way the cards have just been oh coming out for you guys. So we have empowered service. Oy. I love the color of that card, by the way. So if I can find it, there we go. We bring you the blessing of empowered service. It is your time to assume your place in the world at the table of masters who serve the loving hand of the divine. You have been asking for your purpose to be more clearly unveiled and manifested in the world. 
You have endured lessons of patience. You have learned that spiritual progress can be made even without results being immediately obvious. You have learned trust and a willingness to surrender your personal desires into a larger plan. We know that of what you are capable, and we now invite you to step into the next level of empowered service available to your soul in service to the greater plan of divine love unfolding. Okay, that literally goes perfect with what I was just saying. So period, point blank. I love that for you, pile two. Okay? Also, <laughs> for some of you guys, you're huge Selena fans. Fans. Baila esta cumbia. You know, that type of Selena. Confirmation, this is for you. Some of you guys were just listening to Selena. You could have been just listening to that song. Double confirmation, all right? All right, anyway, so <laughs> that's what I have for you, pal. To like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below. Like, book greetings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I love you so much. Thank you mucho, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. Greetings. Welcome, pile three. Those of you guys who chose fresh cream, warm cashmere by philosophy. I'm gonna go ahead and get the vibe right so we can see what do you guys need to know. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right, ancestors, talk to me. I talk back. What does pile three need to know? Some of you guys are like morning people or you're watching this in the morning. Maybe a confirmation is just for you. Ancestors, talk to me. I talk back. What's going on, pile three? What do they need to know? You guys are very close to achieving some type of goal or reaching some type of milestone. Um, like the final hump. You guys are getting over the final hump. It's giving major nine of wands energy. Okay, so your ancestors are saying do not give up, do not throw in the towel, continue to proceed forward. You will be hitting a goal very soon, um, maybe even closer or near in the future than what you thought you would hit it or that you were hoping you would hit it, okay? We have, oh, yes, commitment, what did I say? Big nine of wands, energy. You guys have been committed to a purpose, a mission, a goal, a project, a dream. And it's okay to take a little bit of a rest, you know, um... But don't give up. Big nine of wands energy. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Giving up on your dreams or your goals in this case would be giving up on yourself. You're going to see major rewards come towards you soon. We have pride. And what I'm paying attention to is that crown. Okay? Your ego is going to like skyrocket. And honestly, it's going to be like a well-deserved thing. You guys have been putting in so much effort, so much time to make progress. And... Even in those moments where maybe even you took steps back, you kept going. You took a rest. You still got back up. You were knocked down. You got back up. Okay? So, it's well-deserved stroke to your ego because you guys went through a lot. And you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you're going to get to. And again, your ancestors are saying, like, it's right around the corner. You're about to... Some of you guys already see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I'm getting... You guys have been getting signs. It could be music. It could be numbers. It could be dreams. Whatever. Tarot readings. And you're not going crazy. You're not being hopeful. You know, this is your triple confirmation that you're about to reap so many more rewards than what you thought. Okay? We have schedule. You are going to be a lot busier. Whatever it is that you've been trying to get to, just understand that when you get to it, you are going to be busier. So take advantage of the times you have to rest because although you're going to be happy and although your ego is going to be getting stroked, you're still going to have a lot more on your plate than what you have now. So rest up when you can. Rest easy. You're going to look back like, dang, okay, now I see why I needed this rest because I'm heck of busy. I got a lot on my mind, a lot on my plate, but I'm happy because this is what I was hoping for. This is what I was working towards. We have Alliance here. Pay attention to who has supported you during your downs and take them with you. Pay attention to who neglected you during your downs. And don't take them with you. With increased success, well, yeah, a song came on. I'm not going to repeat it because the title is kind of iffy. But it's basically talking about using somebody for their money, okay? So, with this increased success that you're going to have, when it comes to hitting your goal, there's going to be more leeches, more mooches coming around you. Pay attention to who is there for you when you were down and who wasn't there for you when you weren't down, Okay? Yeah, pay attention because the ones who were there for you when you were down, they're the ones you should take with you. 
And the ones who weren't there for you down, it's not to say that you can't deal with them to an extent, but don't do for them what you would do for people who were there for you before you hit all the success. So this is like major stuff. This isn't like small goals. This is a big goal. We have endorsement, persuasion, bribe, temptation. Yeah, people are going to try and tempt you, bribe you, use you because you're going to be hitting a major milestone. We have eternal love. So stay loyal to the people who are loyal to you, regardless of what you're going going through in your life. OK. Relaxation. Yeah, your ancestors are saying enjoy this relaxation now because there's going to come a point where you're like, oh, we I'm happy, but I'm tired. I need a nap. I need a break. There's just so much on my plate. <laughs> this goal is taking up a lot of time. OK, we have death here. Yeah, you're ending a cycle of putting in a lot of work with little to no reward. Exactly. Putting in a lot of work, but not getting much out of it. Prudence. Ace of Cups. Clarify. Ace of Pentacles. That's what I thought. You're going to be <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Entering a new cycle. Like, I got to hold these up. You know, death to the phase where the fruits of your labor were being withheld. And now you're entering a phase where you have so much emotional fulfillment because they're here. You see tangible results. And the reason why I haven't specified so much on the goals is because I'm feeling there's a split between, like, some people it's social media, some people it's work, some people it's love. I'm seeing for some people it's trying to conceive. So there's so many different goals I'm seeing. I don't want to focus too much on specifics, okay? Because there's a lot of you here. Um, but this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles are beautiful because... The Ace of Pentacles is the tangible results. Seeing it, touching it, feeling it, living it. And having a new phase where you're so happy. You're overwhelmed with fulfillment. Because you finally can touch it, see it, feel it, hold it. Tangible results from the work that you've been putting in for months. For not even months, most of you like years. Um, it could be months. But for most of you it's years. Okay, so let's see. What do you guys need to surrender? Pile three ancestors talk to me. I talk back. What does pile three need to surrender? Ancestors talk to me. I talk back. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I love this. Surrender to wonder and awe. I'm here for it. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of love. <laughs> That's literally perfection, especially given the messages I just got for you guys, okay? So, I got Crystal Mandela Oracles for the other two piles, so of course I have to get one for you, Pile 3. Ancestors, what does Pile 3 need to know? Sheesh. Oh my god, okay. I don't like to ever do more than two, but you guys, I gotta do this. Rest. <laughs> what was I saying? Take advantage of the rest that you can get now because you're going to need it. All right, so we bring you the gift of rest. We ask you to reflect on what you truly need. Do you need a break for an hour or so now to relax and recharge? Or do you need to change your lifestyle to more regularly include rest so you sustain your vitality, sense of well-being, and creative energy? Do you need rest that is active, that helps you switch off your mind and come out of your head into your body? Do you need rest that is physically still to deeply replenish your energy reserves at a deeper cellular level? Do you need mental rest to let go of worry and stress or emotional rest to let you off an emotional roller coaster and into some simple acceptance and happiness for a time? Rest can happen in different ways and on different levels. We bring you the gift of all types of rest and ask that you choose that which will feel best for you at this time. Ancestors, thank you for the confirmation. So, what's the other ones? They're flipped over. We have Spirit of the Guru Mother, number 52. You guys are spiled. Sp can I talk? You guys are special. This happens when I drink too much caffeine, y'all. <laughs> At this point, I need someone to, like, make a dictionary of all my messed up words. But anyways, and then I'll create definitions for them. 
the dictionary of Lexi. <laughs> so anyways, um, Spirit of the Guru Mother. We bring you the empowerment of Spirit of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there's so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often on an issue of willingness to make an effort, but concerned that the choice might not be the right choice. We might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we're able to accept the task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spirit of the guru mother. Beautiful. Um, some of you guys carry like a literal spear or like a stone shaped as like an arrowhead. Or you could carry like an arrowhead. It's confirmation. Um, double confirmation. Okay. So. The last card we have for you guys, you guys are special because you are literally the only pile that got three cards. I think everyone else just got one. So, three for three. Oh my God, three for three. <laughs> so, if you guys have been seeing a lot of threes, three, 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 33, you have life path three, confirmation, triple confirmation, okay? Um, also, if you've been connecting a lot with the number eight or the, there's a special connection with the number eight, or the infinity symbol or sign, double confirmation. Some of you guys have like an infinity tattoo, okay? All right. So, or um, some of you guys have a tattoo like eight ball. Um, there's like pool freaks here also. Okay. So, we bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by the new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed, to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. So, I kept hearing, like, co-signment or thrifting. Like, some of you guys are, like, buying luxury stuff to resell. Or you're, like, into thrifting. Or you've been thinking about, like, investing more in luxury, but, like, in a way that's affordable for you. So, this is your confirmation as well, okay? So, with that being said, that's what I have for you. Pile 3, like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below if you'd like to um, book a reading, shop, all that greatness. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!